Welcome back. Delivery couriers make sending and receiving almost anything fast and easy, but many of those workers are not being fairly compensated. Now, local delivery startup Homer Logistics is looking to rectify it by hiring its workers as W 2 employees. We want to talk about that now with the CEO of Homer Logistics, Adam Price, is joining us right now. Adam, good to see you. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, thank you for having Congratulations me. Congratulations on the startup. Tell us about Homer and where the growth comes from from Homer Logistics. Sure. Homer's a company that helps businesses run local deliveries in the same day or faster. What that means is we work with a variety of businesses ranging from restaurants to grocery stores to liquor stores and we, need, we enable them to reach their customers, their out-of-store customer base by running deliveries for them. We're headquartered in New York City and we license our software into 10 other U.S. markets. What is the benefit of hiring employees as a W-2? We're a firm believer that investing in our employee base ranging from our couriers to our software developers that develop the technology is the ultimate success for the company. At the end of the day, it's people using software and investing in all of the people is, is important to the success of our business. But Adam, using W-2s is admirable, uh, but how do you compete on price? You know, if, if I go and order groceries and I want them delivered for $7, can you, that's what I'm do, doing in Atlanta, can you compete with that? Absolutely. The payoff in investing in W-2s is really on retention and efficiency. So when you invest in that training and in the onboarding and that engagement with that employee as opposed to a contractor relationship, yeah. you're going to retain that individual for a much longer time at your company and you're also going to end up with an individual that's engaged and is more efficient doing the work. That efficiency increase is actually how we compete on price. And do you provide the vehicle or do they provide their own vehicle? We provide all the equipment for okay. our employees to complete their tasks. Okay. And, but how do you compete with something like say in Amazon that has you know all of these logistics centers and really sophisticated technology and they've been doing this for years so how do you get into those markets right it's it's a great question you know what we found is a very strong fit for our service in moving local goods short distances and and that's a little bit different than the classic last mile where you're distributing packages out of a big distribution center or warehouse like Amazon has we have developed a way to stitch together local merchants and use our technology to deliver those products in a new way that we think services the customer in a better and in, in better experience. And, like, yeah. and does the consumer call you directly or are you being uh, retained by the restaurants or the grocery stores or so forth? It's, it's the latter and that's yeah. the best part of our business is yeah. we don't have to go out and create the consumer demand. We work with businesses that you might already be familiar with mm -hmm. and we provide that outsourced delivery service on the local yeah. level. I like the fact that your couriers earn more than the average. The average hourly rate for food delivery workers at 11.43 your couriers earn $16 on average. How That's do you do correct. that? What, what's your business model? How, how are you going to keep growing with that kind of difference? Yeah, we're excited as well. Again, it goes back to engagement and, and proper treatment of our workforce, but the way we do it comes down to efficiency. By combining the technology that allows us to move these deliveries very quickly and efficiently, we're able to generate more revenue per hour, which allows us to pay the courier more per hour for that same amount of work. Hmm. Would a tax cut help you? <laughs> tax cut helps every business. <laughs> Yeah, well, we've been talking about taxes all, all morning. Do you really think that that's going to help the bottom line if we were to see lower corporate tax? You're probably one of the pass-throughs. You'll, you'll be a pass-through. Exactly. Yeah. Well, at the end of the day, for us, we're still a very early-stage technology company, and, and we're not profitable, so seeing tax cuts doesn't have a major impact on <laughs> our business go. until a couple of years from now. But it will, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. Adam, good to see you. Thanks so much. Thanks so much for having me on. Thanks. Adam Price, CEO of Homer Logistics.